from Paris, it was about a three hour drive up to Brussels. And as per the usual, absolutely beautiful. This is such a trip. Driving under the city, I like a lot. You see a motorcycle out there? Yeah. Yep, the scooter. Is this someone? Uh, you stay in here. You stay in here. You don't go past that, okay? Once we got to Brussels, we checked into our Airbnb, and this thing, it was pretty epic. The only downside, it's five stories. It's a lot of stairs. You gotta remember, a lot of these big cities are built up, not out. But let me take you on a little tour of this place. It's pretty cool. The living room is pretty spacious, very well styled. These people will actually live here full time and then they leave while they Airbnb it out. So there's some rooms that we couldn't go in, but overall, plenty of space, place is massive. The coolest part about this thing, there's two spots. The kitchen, absolutely loved it. This stove is insane. I mean, you're talking about a $20,000 stove. Yeah, kitchen. And then I'm gonna show you a little bit here in a second of the second favorite spot, which I thought I got a lot more footage of. I didn't, shame on me. Yeah, just <laughs> Bathrooms were all really unique. Some killer walk-in showers, kind of like this cool islandy Japanese vibe. But then the coolest spot of this is the terrace on the roof. 360 degree views of Brussels. Absolutely awesome. Ended up having a couple beers up here. I wish I would have taken more video. I maybe have some photos of it. Maybe I'll try to put them in here, but I don't believe I did. And then it was off for my own little adventure. Pretty cool. Well, as if this trip wasn't crazy enough, well, I guess it hasn't really been that crazy. It's just been different, right? So I'm in Belgium, Brussels to be exact. And my uh, sister-in-law and brother-in-law live here with their family. And uh, I got a wild hair by us. I actually wanted to do this while we were in um, Ireland, in Dublin, but I couldn't find a place to do it. But I think I'm gonna get a tattoo today because why not? It's kind of cool to say you got one in Europe and the artists here are pretty amazing. So I've already, one tattoo I've got is a guy that was from France uh, who lived in Portland and he ended up stealing my watch and pawning it and interesting story, he did jail time. So needless to say, I'm boy didn't go back. Um, luckily that tat was finished, but anyways, I'm going to uh, go to this place. It's called Matt's Tattoo here in Brussels and uh, we'll see how it goes. After getting the tattoo, I met up with the rest of the family, which were gracious enough to lend me the time to be able to get this tattoo, which it is awesome. I still love it. It's obviously all healed up now and the colors have settled in. It's exactly what I wanted. But now we get to explore downtown, old town, Brussels. And I wish the video did this place justice. It's absolutely stunning. I don't know what you want to call it, courtyard or square that has all these different old buildings built in different time periods. Just unreal architecture. I wish they made buildings like this today.
And of course, the uh, you know peeing kid. I believe they call it the mannequin piss, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Tons of people around. It's world renowned. Then we got some street food. Walked around for a little bit. Where's the French fries? In your belly? No. no where are your French fries? I shared them with everybody. We ate them. Built in 1592 or 97. Wow, Clarky. Caught a little couple uh, street shows, then went and had a ridiculous dinner at a place that served all the good food. Corky, Corky, what is this? A butt. It's a butt? Yeah. It's like a butt, huh? The following morning, we head to Paris. So we opted not to stay in Paris. We just wanted to Better do one day. And the cool part about Brussels is there is a bullet train that instead of the three hour drive, I believe it's roughly one hour on the bullet train, which is awesome. There's no stops in between. It goes straight from Brussels to Paris. The kids had a blast. We got in a cabin right next to the little cafe, which was overpriced and the food was terrible, but the coffee was, eh, it was decent. Right away, we did a family photo session in front of the Eiffel Tower as one would while you're in Paris because, well, you got to do American tourist stuff. We opted not to go up into the Eiffel Tower. We have a bunch of kids. It was actually surprisingly really hot and humid this day. It's kind of hard to tell, but it was close to 90 degrees at some points, plus humidity. So we decided just to kind of walk around, went to an old crepery because you gotta have crepes in Paris, right? The guy was super cool, spoke English. We had a great time, bought the whole dang menu. And then from there, my daughter wanted to get a picture in front of the Louvre. We did not go in the Louvre because it is a two hour wait, even if you buy advanced tickets. 
and we just kind of were not about doing that to go see the Mona Lisa, which if you've actually seen photos or videos of that place, it is wall-to-wall -wall people to see a 24-inch painting that you can see online. After that, we went down, they had this really cool little amusement park where they did a carousel, and I'm not one for heights, and the wind was just gusting in that. I don't like it. No, I neither. Okay. No, I'm okay. okay. No. Now I understand their aesthetic. So I tried to get a little bit of video of the 360 degree beautiful view on top of it where you could see everything from the Eiffel Tower to Notre Dame, all sorts of awesome, awesome places up there. Let the kids blow off a little bit of steam. Clark was absolutely loving it. All the other kids on the little amusement rides had a blast playing games. This is good. This is good. Listen, Oh. So I don't know if Calvin. Yeah. Oh, I can see my gum This is we are crazy. Really this is too fast to be let off. Oh, everybody's getting wild. Wait, push the Are those your dance moves? Ooh. Sorry. It's <laughs> And then Dean and I, along with my brother-in-law, Alan, and his oldest son, decided to do what was on my bucket list, and that is the Catacombs of Paris. This place is unbelievable. What started out as limestone mines that they used to build most of the buildings that you see in Paris turned into a collapsed graveyard, and then during the time of the Black Plague, millions of people died. They didn't know what to do with the bodies and they ended up building the catacombs. I can barely stand up. But this is this is crazy. It's the catacombs. Underneath the forest. Are you like you have to duck? I gotta duck a little bit, yeah. I was gonna say I can barely stand up. I can almost touch the ceiling. I believe there is thought to be around six to seven million people's worth of bones that are built into this place and I wish I could say the videos and photos do this place justice it does not it's absolutely mind-boggling going in here to think that these are all human remains I mean six to seven million people's worth
Hmm? Yeah, on this trip. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Infinite snap bones. This is cool. Oh. This is cool. Oh, there used to be a skull right here, I think. Oh. It fell out. They go way back. Where would you look me up? Yeah. They go on forever. There's certain parts where I looked up and over the bones and shined a flashlight and it just went forever. And we only got to use and see about half of what's available down there. here because they were mine. Gotta go to the catacombs. Super, super dope. Holy shit, it's super dope. Oh. Wait, where's the catacombs? Uh, no, they don't have anything in there. Just looking for sandals. And then, what, Deanie? Where's the catacombs? Said we gotta go to the catacombs, huh? What do you think of them? Hmm? Yeah. What do you, yeah, they're cool. Tell me about it. What was your favorite part? Gravestone? Yeah. That was my favorite one. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But now, there's uh, you can't take a trip to France without having some escargot. So we found a place that has it with some uh, kids' food. In a sec. When we sit down, we can. So we're headed to that now. All right, bud? Mm -hmm. Ready to try some snails? Yeah. Some escargot? Yeah. All right. I have to get some sands. You want some snail shells? Yeah. You want to eat some escargot? Yeah. Corky, do you want to eat snail? Like that's yours, isn't it? Homies. After dessert with some more crepes, we decided to head back to Brussels because in the next day or two, we had to go home. I ended up not filming the rest of the time there just so we could visit with family and just take in this awesome three weeks. Daylight. Just, just munching. 
where. There's a group of them over here. I'm so stoked that you guys watched this with us. I hope we kept you entertained on it on our fun little family adventure. We're hoping to bring a little bit more of these to the channel. If you like them, please drop us a comment down or maybe give us some ideas of some places that we should see as a family and take it into consideration of visiting there and filming it when we go as well. Thanks again. Europe, you are awesome. We'll see you soon.